Hello everyone. Welcome to MailServerGuru.com. Today we will start learning mail server design. How do you deploy mail server? Different scenario to follow. During my sysadmin career for the last 10 years, I have seen so many types of mail server deployment scenario. Different deployment strategy based on the organization size or business requirements. Most of the corporate has only single server. Whereas at the ISP level, I have found uh, mail server deployment at large scale or at very large scale so we will learn step by step up to that level so today we will talk about single server environment that most company has in this design we have a single server connected to internet has a public IP assigned and local users are connected to it through the local switch all email operations has done by the single mailbox we have uh, hundreds of users at our local LAN. They are receiving mail from internet and sending also. This server working as email receiver or incoming server, email storage or mailbox server, and sender or outgoing server. Uh, we have mobile users or remote users. Uh, their email uh, they are accessing through web mail. So this server working as a web mail server also. So uh, let's see another similar design. Here, in this design, everything are same like the previous one. Only exception is the mail server has another LAN card connected to private LAN. Private IP assigned to it, local users are connecting uh, to the server with private IP or local IP. Main advantage of this design is local users will get server access even if the public network or internet connectivity gets down. And they will get wire speed up to the uh, uh, up to the server as well. To provide service on all interface, uh, server has to listen on all IP on the server. So we will see the configuration of this kind of server later. So uh, how do you set up this kind of server? What steps uh, we have to follow? First of all, to receive mail, we must set up our domain's MX record to point to the server. Uh, and after that, secondly, we have to install an MTA on the server to listen on 25 port where senders will connect. Thirdly, we need to install a pop IMAP service because users has to access their mail Fourth, we need to install a webmail for browser-based email access. And finally, this is the optional step, is to configure an anti-spamming system for the user. So in this way, we can implement our own single mail server box. Uh, so um, as this uh, video is uh, part of design series, so I'm not uh, going to uh, configuration issues uh, right now so later we will configure uh, step by step so the um, so next uh, we will see uh, multi server design so now um, so if you uh, like my video please comment and subscribe to my channel I'll, I'll, I'll try to put uh, more video on uh, on my channel soon so thank you so see you later bye